Hey guys. All right. So I have these three little small canvases from Michael's. These are, these are the Artist Loft brand and they are six by six. So they're not an expensive brand of canvas by any stretch. And sometimes when you buy the lesser expensive canvases, they're, they're a little bit loose or wrinkly on the top. So what I do is I spray the back of the canvas with some water and then turn it over and start my painting. Usually doing this when this, as this dries, it tightens up the fabric on the canvas. In this case, I sprayed it with water on the back, turned it over, painted the front with a coat of white paint. And as it was drying, it tightened up very nicely and you can no longer see any wrinkling. So that's how I started this project. As you can see, we have three of them. So we're gonna to try to create a triptych. Um, I am intrigued by the idea of mid-century modern abstract style paintings, which have been a, a, an obsession with designers um, all over the internet um, for kind of for a while now. And I'm gonna take a bunch of my stencils from my stencil line um, and I will um, try to remember to list them all below, but I'll for sure have the Etsy store link so you can look. Um, and we're going to try to create something. Yeah. Um, Google mid-century modern abstract painting and you'll see what I mean. Uh, I'm going to use sort of oceany inspired colors, blues, sandy colors, a little yellow, some pale greens, um, maybe even a pale pink. I've got some options here. I've got some modeling paste. So we're gonna see where it goes. I'm gonna fast forward through most of it and I'll be back.
Okay, that was a lot of fun. Um, at the end there, you saw that I um, held up to the camera a, a Faber-Castell uh, brush pen. Um, this was one in a dark gray rather than black, and this is warm gray number 274. Um, I can see doing this again. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed myself. And getting the stencils on there semi-perfectly is always a challenge. You saw me touching up a few edges and corners. That being said, I love the way they turned out. I'm gonna let them dry and let it go. I'm, I can see me doing this again. I hope it gives you some sort of different ideas of things you could do. This would make an interesting journal page, by the way. So that might be my next thing is doing this on a journal page. So anyway, give it a try, see what you think. Google mid-century modern abstract art and see what, you, what pops up and what inspires you to create um, in your art studio or your art room or in your journal or whatever. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Check out the video description for relevant links. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.